Hi my friends, today we model this part which is symmetrical on uh, three planes and this is the drawing. We start by creating this uh, contour with these two uh, holes. Dimensions are all here. New empty document take a look of this uh, workbench and select CAD not Bender because we create uh, mechanical parts new sketch this plane and a rounded rectangle starting from here going somewhere with dimensions 54 enter 128 enter and 14 is the radius then we apply symmetry this point and this point symmetrical about this axis this point and this point symmetrical about this axis then we create other two rounded rectangles one is this with dimensions 38 tab or enter with a radius of 6 this uh, distance from the center is half of 70 70 divided by 2 we also apply symmetry between this point and this point about this axis the other dimension is to apply coincident of this point with this point because this is radius 14 and this is radius 6 and if you make a calculus you see this now we select this uh, last geometry I, I try to find a position to select it yes and I apply symmetry about this axis now you see the other rectangle down there are five degrees of freedom not constrained and you can find that but we can uh, use them close and extrude symmetric on 40 okay now we create a sketch right here in this mid plane with this uh, circle firstly extended symmetrical to 78 and then cutting this contour you see here radius 8 40 degrees this external diameter is 50 internal is 36 new sketch this uh, plane view inside create a circle of 50 project these two lines and trim this arc 
and this arc. We connect the end points on both sides. Close. That uh, sketch is inside the part. We apply extrude, symmetrical, and you can see by rotating these uh, extensions. Our dimension is 78. Very good. This face for a new sketch. Then a circle of 36. 36. Four circles with diameter of 8 multiplied by 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. They are equal. This with this. This with this. Equal in diameter. Then we connect the centers of the circles with two lines. These lines are construction lines. And now we apply coincident between this line and the center. This line and the center and we apply tangency between this circle and this circle this and this this and this this and this symmetrical are these two points about this axis and we trim this and we project this arc and this arc. Why? Because we trim this and this, this and this, and also this internal I cut it and I apply Control Z to obtain it. This is uh, something not usual. Click here, cut here, Control Z, and I have what I need, and click here. The angle is 40 degrees. 40. Then we apply trim. Oh. Then we apply trim to this arc. <laughs> and uh, control Z. <laughs> now I cut also this. Then I use the uh, arc by center to connect uh, this point with this point and also center and these two points. I want to obtain this. Another arc with this center starting from here going here and we have two separate close and uh, pocket of the two areas. The distance is 
to face. What face? This face. Okay. Now we apply mirror of this pocket. This is mirror. And we use YZ plane. Y Z. Okay. You see that too. Another feature is uh, this cylinder of 30 with a length of 128. Once again, we use this uh, plane to create this feature. New sketch. YZ plane, see inside, draw a circle of 30, then extrude symmetrical on 128. Next is uh, this hole of 15 and these two ends with uh, chamfers 2 at 45 degrees. Face, sketch, circle, 15, close, pocket, all the way through the part. Then we select this edge, control key pressed, and the other edge. Then chamfer of two millimeters. Okay. Last is uh, a cut, a big cut. We project this line and this line. By fortune these are the corners of the rectangle starting from this one to this one. This is 70 millimeters and uh, the other is 26. Good. Close pocket and through the part okay that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye